On a night honoring one of the most recent Sun Devil alums, Fear the Beard was not just a theme. It was a reality as the Sun Devils honored number 13 James Harden by raising his number into the rafters. On the court, though, the Sun Devils had to take on a tough and tall UCLA squad. Yet on a night like tonight, the Sun Devils would settle nothing less than the W, getting the W 68-66. to Let's take a look at this historic night. James Harden was given a hero's welcome as he entered Wells Fargo Arena, posed for some pictures with the 942 crew, and then at halftime had his celebratory ceremony where he was given a framed jersey and saw his number raised to the rafters. As for the game, the Sun Devils were tested against the UCLA Bruins throughout the 40 minutes. Savon Goodman's top-notch play continued as he had another double-double on the night. He also had help from Shaquille McKissick, who chipped in 14, and Trey Holder with 13. But yet again, when the Sun Devils needed it most, Bo Barnes launched a Bo Bomb, blowing up the arena and killing any chance of a comeback for UCLA. Post-game, head coach Herb Sedek said the team continues to grow and are taking it one game at a time. We couldn't be more proud of our men. Obviously, Savon had an outstanding game with a double double. It keeps getting better and better. Um, for the second consecutive home game, Bo Barnes makes a big shot. And, uh, you know, tonight was the first time he was out on the floor since being injured against Washington State, which you know shows you know, a great deal about who he is. Be able to not participate in practice or preparation and go out and you know, a game of this nature and play the way he did. The university, our athletics department, and certainly our basketball program, the entire Sun Devil community just is, is enormously proud of James. Um, you know, we all knew he was good, but just like me, you guys all sat here and watched him. But I think you know, if we're honest with each other, there's nobody who thought at this young of an age, he literally would be in the conversation for MVP and the NBA. You know, he'd be one of the, the very best players on the planet, already have a gold medal. I mean, it's, it's just mind-boggling what he's doing. Yeah, so I remember our coach, coach Herb has been giving us a lot, a lot more rope to play with, uh, you know, knowing that we're mature and we're knowing what's important and what's at stake, uh, you know, coming down to the end of the season, you know. We got in late for the night, we got a day off. Uh, the next day, we got one day to prepare. So, you know, he tells us, uh, you know, that one day that we have to prepare, we got to come and practice for two hours, you know, balls off the wall. And that's what we really focus in. Uh, we focus in on our scout. And, uh, we went out there and, and tried to do the job and put us in the middle. Um, you know, uh, I'm not making a comment on how far can we go. Uh, we're just taking it one game at a time. You know. This won't be the last time James Harden visits his alma mater. Nevertheless, the Sun Devil season continues as they play the USC Trojans on Sunday night here at Wells Fargo Arena. Yet, tonight was memorable for ASU fans, especially James Harden, because it's something that he will never forget. From Wells Fargo Arena, Jake Aiden, WCSN.